Welcome to our Everyone Solves on the Diane Tengyun M. This is Diane's newest 3x3 release and it comes factory magnetized. It measures 55 millimeters across and weighs around 77 grams, making it quite small, light, and compact. Given the design of the puzzle, the magnets seem interchangeable. However, we are not sure whether the manufacturer will release other magnets. The most distinguishable characteristics of this cube are its fast natural speed and super soft buttery feel. The speed kind of speaks for itself. The cube is naturally very quick, which can be either good or bad depending on your preference. The soft buttery feel, however, is something very special, and it's rarely found in other cubes. The Tengyun is extremely smooth and quiet. As a side note, the cube comes with a few interesting defaults. Ours came with a ton of lube so much that lube got on the exterior of the cube. The cube also comes quite loose, so loose that you can easily pull pieces out. Obviously, it'd be silly to leave these settings on the cube, so we tightened, cleaned out the lube, and re-lubed it, and broke it in. Here are our impressions. I think the Diane Tengyun is easily the best cube Diane has ever produced. I'm thoroughly impressed with the improvements made on this cube, and it's really smooth and is very enjoyable turning. I was able to get a sub-8 average of 12 right out of the box, which is a very pleasant surprise. I never thought I would ever get close to my average times with a Diane puzzle. Though the Tang Yun is a significant improvement, I still have a few issues with the cube. I tend to have some lockups on last layer when I try to increase my turn speed, which has ruined a few good solves for me. The magnets feel pretty light in my opinion, which isn't a bad thing, but I believe stronger factory magnets may help with the stability of this puzzle. Overall, I believe the Teng Yun will definitely be a hit for some cubers. I don't see many world-class solvers using this cube, maybe one or two, but we will see. I'm definitely looking forward to Diane's next 3x3, because with a few more improvements, I believe they can produce a world-class speed cube. Hey, this is Jules. The Diane Teng Yun is a pleasant surprise from Diane. Given the past cubes that have been recently released by Diane, the Tang Yun may be the first that doesn't feel like a rehash of a previous puzzle. It has pre-installed magnets that are visible like the GAN, and has a good balance between shape, size, and weight unlike the Zhang Yun, Diane's previous release. That being said, it also has a much different feel than most cubes. It's swishy, not in a bad sense, but provides a slight gummy feeling. It seems like the cube wants to be controllable, but it's hard given that it's not as stable as some cubes. I found myself corner twisting a bit, but it's not enough to give it a full negative impression in my mind. Diane is certainly going the right direction with this cube, but it's still a bit behind on the great cube race amongst other brands. And while I'm hopeful for Diane's great return, they still have a ways to go. Hey everyone, this is Phil. The Diane Tangyun stands out as a recent Diane release because I actually like it. It's changed the way I think about Diane cubes. Before, whenever Diane released something new, I would doubt and think, oh my goodness, it's another one. It's probably not going to be good. However, I think the Diane Tangyun completely changed that. The 55mm size is great and I'm a big fan of the soft buttery feel. I've been using this cube for OH for a few days now and I've enjoyed it a lot. With reasonable setup, there are very few locking and catching problems that impact turning continuity. The fast natural speed is a problem though. I've been using the combination of Compound 10 and Gravitas to slow the cube down. While this works, the lube eventually wears off and I have to apply lube again. The Tangyun demands a lot of upkeep, which isn't the case with most other cubes. And honestly, most people find lots of upkeep annoying. I don't think this cube will be super competitive with popular flagships, but it does have some good features that can be appealing to faster solvers. I wouldn't be surprised though if someone really fast liked it. In sum, great improvement for Diane. I now use this cube for OH, and I actually look forward to future Diane releases, unlike before. To end with a funny story, I found the Tangyun so quiet that I cubed during a longish phone call, which went completely unnoticed. I definitely did pay attention to the phone call though, so don't worry. So like most people recently, when I found out about a new Diane 3x3, I was not very excited. Although there was some improvement with the Zanchi 2018, the recent 3x3 releases have left a lot to be desired. This one's quite a bit better though. Out of the box, it was scratchy, too loose, and locked up a bit more than I would have liked. But after some tightening, lubing, and general breaking in, it has turned into one of my favorite 3x3 releases of the last few months. It easily cuts 45 and over, is one of the quietest 3x3s I've ever tried after lubing, and is factory magnetized. The magnets could stand to be a bit stronger, but I think that's just my personal preference. 
Overall, it's my opinion that this is objectively Diane's best 3x3 release ever. Is it a main killer? Probably not for most people. But if you don't mind having to do some setup, and you're looking for a smooth, quiet puzzle that performs well and is magnetic, I would have no issue recommending the Tang Yun.